Baba and the Mandalis, they started on foot towards north. So whatever happened on the way, last week we have seen some two, three incidences, right? So now Baba was heading towards Banaras. That was in the north, that was his first destination, Banaras. So before reaching Banaras, he sent Yaraj and Baba Das. These two people were there in the company. Before they reached Banaras, with certain conditions. They must find out a suitable person for a stay, for a, you know, accommodation in Banaras. The same person should provide free food, very simple food, all rice, all those things, for all the 22 plus 1, 23 people. Free uh, in Bhiksha for almost a month. <coughs> okay. So Yanaj was asking Baba, if we go, how do we know that who is the person to approach? See, this is what is called the miracle. So Baba already knew that who was the person going to provide. But he would not express his omissions that this is the person. Yeah, normally he doesn't do that. He said that you go, I will help you. And you will know. You will be inspired to ask somebody. Yeah? The inspiration coming from Baba. Not that anyone you look at, you will go and ask. You will be inspired to ask somebody. Who will be the person? So you don't worry about it. You go to Banaras and you will find out the right person in the right place, in the right time. So Eraj knew this. So they went beforehand to Banaras. So Banaras and Baba Das, they were just looking around a suitable person for this. The conditions were very, very strict conditions. They were not supposed to see Baba, but they had to provide food, they had to provide accommodation for 30 people, this 23 people, for almost one month to 40 days. So Yaraj and Baba Das, when they were looking around for the suitable person, they came across a person. So Yaraj thought that could be he is the person Baba wanted to meet. You know, he had some kind of intuition in his mind. So he went to him and uh, he talked to him. So we are a company of some people coming towards North Banaras on a pilgrimage. <coughs> so our companion, our head of the companion is there on the way now, but we have come beforehand. We need some something in Viksha from you. Are you in a position to give us? So it happened to be Dr. Nath. His name was Dr. Nath. He was an eye surgeon in Banaras. Very famous eye surgeon. <clears throat> so when he heard the conditions of you know accommodation, food and love, he said, accommodation, yes, I can try for accommodation. I'll be able to give you because I have got a bungalow in Banaras. Then he said, what about the food? So food also I will be able to provide. Yeah, immediately, without any hesitation, he has agreed. But the condition is the food has to be prepared by you and given to us. Okay? And you have to send the food to our place. And the food cannot be cooked at our place, but you have to cook and send the food. These are all the conditions. No one should try to see the head of the companion or nobody, our group. You should never attempt to see that. These are all the conditions. So if it is acceptable to you for 40 days, then I will inform my head of the company in that group that yes, Dr. Nath is, will, is willing to give that. He said yes, I will do. Without any hesitation in the first discussion itself. So that is how Baba helps, you know. It means he was the one supposed to be giving all those things for Baba. So immediately, next day Baba was reaching Banaras. Next day morning, around 5 o'clock, the train reaches Banaras. So he informed Baba that, yes, Baba, everything is ready. One Dr. Nath, he has agreed for providing everything. So, no worry. So next day morning, 5 o'clock, these two people went to railway station to receive Baba in the Mandalis. So they arrived. 
So all were standing, 23 people were standing in the railway station. Just imagine the situation. Baba suddenly spotted somebody. Far away distance, on a bridge, over, you know, over a bridge of the railway station, he spotted somebody, one elderly person and one you know, lady. Two people were standing there. Baba said, we are being watched by somebody. We are being watched by somebody. Somebody is seeing us. So he said, Baba, there are many people here. Why do you, why do you think that they are all looking at us? No, go and find out who is that. It's a long distance, about 10 minutes walk from there, you know, crossing the bridge. Yeah. And Baba spotted that guy. <clears throat> so it so happened, Yarash immediately rushed to see who is that. He was surprised to see that it was Dr. Nath. <laughs> It was Dr. Nath and Mrs. Nath standing there. So he said, Baba only asked him to find out, you know. So he he found out that who is, who are you? Then he, he knows that, you know, he already met him, no? he already met him. So he came and told Baba that this is Dr. Nath and now we go and tell him that we are not going to accept his offerings. Okay, because he has not fulfilled the conditions, he has broken the conditions. So this is not possible for us to accept his offerings. <coughs> So the rich went again back and told him that this is what it is. He said, no, we have not come for that. He was begging him. You know, he said that, no, no, we have not come for that. Please go and tell your head of your group that we have not come to see you people at all. I have come with the intention of offering the car to you. He brought his vehicle. He thought that I, I came to know that there are four, four delicate ladies in the team. Okay, how they will travel in the morning because there is no other you know, the vehicles are available. So how would you go? So I thought that I should bring the vehicle. So my driver is there waiting for you. I'm going back. I'm not seeing anybody. I'm, I'm not going to see also. That was not the intention. You go and tell your group leader. So he came back and told uh, Baba that, Baba, yeah, that was not the intention. He did not see any of us. And he came for giving the vehicle to us. Okay. So once again, he went and told, okay, in that case, it's fine. Then, see, after giving the vehicle, Dr. Nath and they were going by a public transport to their place. See, mm -hmm. the early morning. Yeah. So, how he got inspired to do all these things, God alone knows. <coughs> so, then Dr. Nath, they went and immediately Baba and the companions, they took that vehicle and they went to that bungalow. Because the driver knew the bungalow where they were supposed to stay. Now, in the background, what is happening is, Dr. Nath, he has accepted for providing the food. So he arranged for food with one of his assistants. Another, you know, surgeon is working with him. So he gave the responsibility to that guy. His name is Dr. Kare. Yeah. Dr. Kare, he is from Hamilpur. His parents were living in Hamilpur. Hamilpur is the place you know very well that Baba was very much associated with Hamilpur. So Dr. Kare is from Hamilpur. Yeah. <coughs> so he called uh, Dr. Kare and uh, so he called uh, Dr. Kare and told him that this is what it is. Dr. Kare immediately guessed that it must be Meher Baba. Because he, he heard about Meher Baba that he is on new life from his parents. The parents, they, they were knowing about Meher Baba and his plan in the new life, you know, whatever is happening, his parents knew. So immediately struck him. So he told Dr. Nath, Dr. Nath, it could be Meher Baba. What, what we are going to give is for Meher Baba, so we should not hesitate, we must give. So he was not confirming, but he had a suspicion in the mind that it could be Meher Baba. So he called his parents from Hamirpur for cooking, elderly parents. And he told them that now one group of 23 people, they are going towards Banaras and they, they, they need some you know simple food like dal, rice and all those things. This have to be cooked in uh, Dr. Dr. Nath's place and we have to prepare that. So they came immediately, they started you know cooking food for the group. So in the afternoon, morning breakfast they did not give. Again, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, three times food to be provided. That was the condition. <coughs> so he sent a message saying that the lunch is ready, shall I bring now? 
Yeah. So Dr. Nath, he sent a message to the group in the building that now the food is ready, shall we bring the food? He said, no, don't bring the food now. We will, we will beg for our food first from Dr. Nath's place. Two of our companions will come and beg for the first food from Dr. Nath's place. So that is what the message he has sent. And who went immediately? Eresh and Baba. See, Eresh and Baba in the new life dress with a satchel, you know, begging bowl with all those things, with the uniform. Both of them, they went to Dr. Nath's place for begging. After reaching Dr. Nath's place, who were all standing there? Dr. Nath, Mrs. Nath, Dr. Kare, mother, father, everybody. Oh no, his mother and father were not there at that time. So Baba was standing there, Yarach was speaking, Baba was acting. Just think the situation. Prem se Bhiksha Dijiye, like that he will shout and Baba will act and he will show his enough begging bowl for food. So as if the voice was coming from Baba. So Yarach was, you know, talk, speaking like that and Baba was acting in the same way. Yeah, so you just imagine the scene. So immediately Dr. Nath and Mrs. Nath, they came and they poured, you know, plenty of food in their satchel, in begging bowls, full of food they offered. <coughs> so Yaraj thanked them and they left. So after leaving that place, Baba went to their, uh, you know, the place and he distributed all the food to all the people. And he sent a message. No, he, they got a message immediately from uh, Nath that we request the companions to come to our place once again and we want to have a photograph. Once again means next day. So if it is acceptable to your head of your group, because they wanted to confirm whether they swear Baba or not. <laughs> so we wanted to have a photograph. So will it be possible? So Baba sent a message, yes, no problem. He agreed even in the new life. So that was the connection between Dr. North and Baba. Yeah. So he has agreed and uh, uh, sent a message saying that tomorrow two companions will come for begging to your place. Next day, next day afternoon for lunch, Baba and Adi Rani. This both of them they had got. That is what the photograph is. This is the photograph of Adi and uh, Meher Baba begging in Dr. Nath's place. He was not wearing the turban on the second day. Otherwise, this is the kafni and this is the way they were, you know, looking. So this time, Adi Rani and Baba went to his place and the photograph was taken. That is what this photo, they found he gave a copy of that also to the group. And uh, they had, at that time, Kare was there, Dr. Kare and his parents. His parents were behind because they knew Meher Baba. Meher Baba also knew the Kare's parents. So they confirmed that it is Mayer Baba. Okay. So after that, uh, you know, things were totally different. Even otherwise, not as agreed. Even if it is not Mayer Baba, he was going to give everything. Okay. So like that, around 30 days passed. One month, things were going on. Baba did not allow anyone to come to his place. But after around 20 days, Baba said, now, whoever is, you know, preparing the food, those people can come to the bungalow and prepare food. Okay. So it so happened, Yaraj and uh, uh, other people, they did not know that who are all cooking the food. It is Dr. Kare's parents like that, he, he did not know before. So they used to go and, you know, talk to them like a little rudely. Means the food is not good in the sense, the salt is <coughs> over, this is that, this, you know, some kind of complaints they used to make. So put some, add more, little more ghee, like that they used to tell a lot of things. They did not know that it was Dr. Kare's parents. So later on when they came to know that it was Dr. Kare's parents, so they were they felt very bad. Because they were not very close lovers of God. So their program in that place, almost one month it was over. Then they were preparing to go to the next destination, that is Muradabad, and then to Deradun. So before leaving that place, one more condition, he sent the Yaraj. Now that the stay is going to be over. So we want to move from this place to Dehradun. We need certain things, whether you can give us. So what are all the things you want? The first one is the white horse. 
Baba wanted the white horse. White horse, absolutely white. There is no color mixing of any other color. <coughs> Even the eyebrows and all those things all should be perfectly white. That was the condition. Yeah. So he wanted the white horse. And uh, you know what are all the things he demanded? White horse in big shop. In the spirit of love. Yeah. It should be docile. It should be grown up. And without a speck of other color. Okay, even the eyelashes and the tail should be perfectly white. The tail and the eyelashes should be perfectly white. That was the condition for. He said, agree, I will get for you. Dr. Ma. The second one he wanted a camel and a camel cot. <laughs> camel and a camel cot. That also he said, no problem, he is available in plenty. Number three, cow, because we need milk on the way, so we need a cow. So he agreed for a cow also. Then he wanted two she asses, donkeys. So he was surprised. How come pilgrimage you are carrying donkeys? He asked. This is our, his wish. Yeah, our companions wish. So we can't do anything about it. This is what is required. So he agreed for that also. So like this. So this all should be ready in a few days time. So as soon as it's ready, we are moving from this place. So everything was ready in two days. So the last condition was in return to that of whatever you have done so far, Baba is going to give you what? All the soil they thought, the dirty linen, whatever they have used so far till their journey, everything will be given to you as a return gift. You have to accept it. He said, I will accept it, but I will wash it and give it back. He said, no, these are all to be with you. We are not supposed to return anything. We are going to give all bundles. Then he asked one question. Well, Baba's dress will be there and that. He said that, yes, that also will be there, but you will not be able to find out which one is Baba's. <laughs> yeah, they all will be the mixed condition. <coughs> will be in bundles. See, all the four ladies and 23, 22 companions, everybody's dress, soil, the cloth, bundled together and Yaraj gave it to you. Along with some rest watches, this, that, everything, all the things they have given. So, in two days, all this material, everything was ready. So, he informed the Baba that, yeah, things are ready now. The thought has been given back to him, given to Dr. Nath. So, Dr. Nath then, lastly, he has agreed that you can come and have a glimpse of our companion in the bungalow. So, there, Nath, Mrs. Nath, Kare, all those people came and, you know, saw Baba. They did not talk to nothing because that was prohibited. So they came to the bungalow and looked at Baba and thanked him. And Baba also finally, he said, Baba, you take at least something. He said, you give only one watch back to us so that we will keep it for looking at the time. So <coughs> one watch was taken back by Baba, remaining all the material given back to them. So then they started from there. So in the meantime, the Padri from Merabad, he has prepared that caravan. Yeah, caravan driven by, you know, some bullocks. So he took it from Merabad to Banaras by train. Yeah, all these things. This also reached at that time. So the caravan and the remaining all those things, whatever they obtained from Dr. Nath, they started the journey from Banaras to Muradabad, then to Derado. If you look at the scene, he was describing, Pendu was describing, he was looking from the long distance. Pendu was not allowed to see Baba. Not Pendu, Padri. Padri was making this. Padri was not allowed to see Baba in Banaras. But uh, he said that he was sitting at the long place and looking at the procession. The procession, how it was going, you know, the horse was given to Dr. Donkin. You know, he was in charge of the horse. So similarly, Baidul, he is, uh, you know, supposed to take care of the camel and the camel cart. And Sadarshi Patel was there. He was supposed to take care of the cow. And Gustaji, the two asses. So like that, he has given the responsibility to the individuals what they are supposed to do. Initially, the white horse was going behind the caravan, behind the four ladies, behind them Baba and four Mandalis. So behind them group of four people, asses, 
everything in a in a procession, you know, long procession. He was telling that it was a sight to see. Yeah, if you look at that sight of you know all this in procession, it was something really. There was no photograph taken. Nothing is available of that. So now they are going towards. Yeah. 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 Yeah.